behind me is Elephant Butte Lake. Uh, it's kind of real low right now, but I've been here before a couple years back, and it was really pretty. It runs into the El Governor River, I believe. I'm not really sure, so don't take my word on that, but there's a lake. Got a nice little road coming down here. Just stay on the road. Don't pull up into the sand, and you'll be okay, but if you pull up onto the sand, you go get stuck, and I'm speaking from experience because I did it before, but here you go. I'll give you all a better look of the lake. Pretty nice, isn't it? It's low, but it's beautiful. I mean, another campground. This place has four campgrounds, and they're all different, but one of the campgrounds, it takes you directly down to the, to the river, I believe, but... I just wanted to stop, but if you look straight ahead, that's pretty cool. Topless mountain right there. If you look way, way over there, you'll see a lake, but I would say it's pretty low. I walked all the way over here to see what I could see, and I see a little body of water right there, but pretty shallow. I think it's all dried up. Well, I found an empty campsite. This is actually campsite 23. And this is probably the best view I found of the lake as far as from the campground. But that's pretty sweet right there. I mean, and the sun comes up because that's east straight ahead. So that'd be a, a pretty view in the morning with the sun coming up. I found me a road, but I have no idea where it's going to. But that sure is pretty. The sun's getting ready to go down. Probably be a real nice sunset. Okay, by my last video, y'all know I'm staying over at uh, Lake Monticello campground this here is the main entrance into elephant butte and in here they got three campgrounds but i'll take you in here because they have electric sites in here electric and water boondocking and then they have shelters i think last time i was here they were like they were like ten dollars a day but here you go through the uh the main toll booth here and it takes you on into the park but it's pretty good okay now when you enter this park it does have a um I call it toll booth booth, but you stop and you, you know, pay if you don't have the annual pass. And, um, yeah, and you get whatever information you need right here, but this is the beginning of the park right here. So let's go, go on inside and check it out. Okay, this is a super big park, so you want to kind of like just take your time, look around, but they have a map up front at the toll gate, I call it, but I'll show you the map. It's pretty cool. It is. It tells you all about the campground, so let's get going. I'll show you the map, and I'll break it all down for y'all. This is a map here I got at the um, toll booth gate, is what I call it, but it's got the whole campground broke down. It's pretty cool, so when you go through there, just ask them if you can have one of these maps of this park. And I believe they have them for every park, but this is the only one I've ever seen. And as y'all can see, it has all the information. The other side was front side. This is the back side. But if you get this map, it'll help you out a whole lot. And because it's real windy out here, I had to hold it in my hand. So anyway, when you go through the toll booth, make sure you get this map. And it will help you out. So let's get going and see. Okay, I'm right here at the pay board. So it has all your information. And I guess this became a part of my videos where... I uh, taped this part because a lot had a lot of comments and people seem to like it, but it gives you all the information and I'm going to go check out the three campgrounds because it's getting a little dark. The sky looks like it's clouding up, so, and it's getting a little chilly out here, so let's get going and see what we can see. Okay, right now I'm on Ridge Road, and these are the shelters, and if you got the camping pass, they're free, the boondocking, no hookups, no water, no electric, no hookups, period. And if you don't have a camping pass, they're $10 a night. But I'll show you around, but it's a pretty good deal. And it's, it's overlooking the Rio Grande River, which is pretty cool. And also it's overlooking the marina. So let's go check it out. I got to find a little man. He is. I don't know what he's doing, but he's he's always sniffing. Right, little man, baby boy. Come on. Little man, come on. Come on, baby. Little man. Hey, you're hard-headed. What are you looking for, baby? Little man, what you looking for? Hey, little man. You can't ever get his attention. He just noses the ground, steadily walking. Doing what he does. 
But anyway, as you can see, you side of your shelter, and that's the view you would have. There's old Snippy. I don't know, he's always looking for something. I have no idea what he's doing most of the time. But, um, like I said, you have a beautiful view. It's really low, but that would be your view if you camped at one of these shelters and you got that shelter over there. That's real nice, but, and then you turn around and this is your shelter. I mean, if you're tent camping, it would be ideal. You know, but if you're camping in an RV, you just camp right there where my car is. And pretty cool little campsite, huh? And you, you know, because the wind really comes off the Rio Grande River down there, so you do need that shelter. But I, I think, I do believe they have 10 of them, if I'm correct. But look at that scenery. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, if you go straight down Ridge Road, the road that shelters are on, I'm on the same road. It'll take you straight down to Rattlesnake Beach. I mean, you can drive on the beach if you got a shovel or if you got four wheel drive, but be careful, don't get on the white sand because if you do, you're definitely gonna get stuck. But I run you on down there and let y'all see what it looks like. Okay, as you can see, it's a pretty nice little road to drive on. And the trick of it all is just Stay on the road, don't get into the white sand because if you do get into the white sand, you pretty much will be stuck. So be prepared to dig out. But you just follow the road on down here and it brings you to the beach. But basically, um, there's not a whole lot of water right now. It's pretty dry, as you can tell right there to your right. And there are a few people boondocking down on the beach. I'll show you some of the sights when I come back up. But, uh, Yep, let's go down here and check it out. Okay, as you can see behind me, the lake is super low, it really is. But, yeah, I mean, where I'm walking, I don't think I'd drive because it feels pretty loose. So, more likely with a Subaru, even though I have four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, because I don't have huge fat tires with mud grip on them, I'd probably get stuck, so... I'm just going to be walking along and showing y'all what I see, but I'll show you these people boondocking over there. It's pretty cool. I mean, they got a set on them to go driving down there without getting stuck. Hopefully y'all can make them out, if you, but if you look straight ahead, you see that um, fifth wheel and pickup truck down there, but I hope they got a load in that truck to get them out of there. But uh, then you got a, a vehicle driving down through there right there straight ahead, but... Like I said, as long as you stay on the gray sand, you're okay. It's when you get on that white, loose sand, most time you go sink. And if you do sink, you definitely don't want to stop. You want to keep getting up, and hopefully you can wheel your way out of it. But like I've said three or four times through this video, this lake is really super low. I've never seen it that low. I like all the different colors you get to see. There's a truck park way over there, but... I hear either jet ski or a boat way, way over in the water, but look at the color in those mountains. I mean, that is so cool. Okay, this is the first dirt road you could come to after leaving Rattlesnake Beach. And this is all boondocking area. There's my little baby boy right there being a good boy. Say yes, daddy, I was being a good boy up here he comes. Yep, there he goes, there he goes. He wants kisses. He wants kisses. Okay, my bad. Actually, it's the third road on your right to cut through to go over to Lion Beach Campground. I went the other ways, and the second road I went down, when the sand starts getting mushy and you feel like you're driving on jello, it's time to either back up or spin the car around real quick and get off that loose sand like that. But this is actually the cut through road that takes you over to uh, Long Beach Campground. And it's also where a lot of people boondock. I mean, you can boondock anywhere along in here. And as you can see, you know, it's pretty nice. You just can't go over those ridges where they've graded the road. But I went by uh, Lower Ridge Campground and it's reservations only, but there's only three campsites in there. So I didn't bother doing any filming. So let's go check out the next campground. I finally found the right road, but I boondocked along in here before a couple 
couple of years back uh, so free camping boondocking what can you say okay we're getting ready to go into Lion Beach campground and then uh, you know just another board self pay you got the tube right there you got your little fancy welcome enjoy your stay but uh, these campgrounds here are really super tight or at least I think they are but anyway let's go check them out okay as you can see the camp sites are pretty well pretty compact I do believe they have two loops because this I'm in a loop right now so I would say they probably have two loops but I'll give you a close up what the campground looks like okay if you look straight ahead there's your water they got electric you got a picnic table you got your canopy you got your fire pit right there you got a good asphalt pad to come back and back up looks real level I guess you can run around up there in the bushes if you wanted to, but overall, this ain't, I mean, it ain't too bad. It's not real crowded. It's a couple days before Thanksgiving, so that's real cool that it's not real crowded, but, and you got a beautiful view. I might come over here for a while after I leave uh, Lake Monticello, because it looks pretty nice. It has trees, so a little bit at home there. Okay, I guess I'm in Bee Loop right now, but... I mean, they're not too crowded, but they're too, a little bit too crowded for my, for me. But, I mean, these here are a little bit different. I think they got more of an oval look. But, once again, you got your electric and water right there. You got your canopy and your picnic table. You got your fire pit. And then you got this rail here. I guess you got a little bit of view of the the water down there but not bad they might even have a sea loop I don't know for sure but it's pretty this is one of my favorite parks right here because of that view right there that is so pretty to me but let's keep on getting up let's keep on checking them out let's go to the next two campgrounds we still have two campgrounds because like I said Elephant Butte has got four campgrounds so I'm staying at Lake Monticello. I've already did that video on that. And this one here is Lion Beach. So we t have two more campgrounds to go out this. So let's go check them out and give Blue Man a bit of a break. Let him run around a little bit. Okay, so I was right. Lion Beach actually has A, B, and C loops. Um, so pretty nice. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, they're just a little bit too packed for me, but... They're, they're still nice campground. The Elephant Butte is very well maintained. I mean, when a camper leaves, they rake the sites, they clean the fire pits, and you don't get that at all state parks. But let's go check out the next two and see what we can find. It's a little overcast, a little cloudy today, so I I don't think it's going to rain. It usually it don't rain. I've only seen the rain a couple of times in New Mexico and all the time I've spent here. So let's get going. Let's go check them out. That's a sweetie pie right there. He's such a good boy. He'll just lay here and let me run around. And I let him out here and there. But usually, there you go. Almost like a cat likes to sleep all the time. Right, little man? Hey, pretty boy. Are you daddy's pretty boy? I think you are. I think you all got your own little pillow right there. And you're a good little camping buddy. Good little traveling buddy. You're my little buddy, little man. Yep. Need to wipe your eyes and water in a little bit. That's my sweetheart. Okay, as you can see behind me, we are now in Quail Run. Let's check out the board, and then we'll check out the campground, see what we see. Okay, Quail Run is just like Lion Beach. Uh, you got your picnic table. You got your shelter. You got your water. You got your electric right there. You got your um, asphalt pad to pull on. But And then uh, mostly behind the campground, you mostly have um, just desert. Um... I guess that's Wi-Fi right there, that pole. And there's your fire pit, but I mean, pretty nice. A lot more uh, big campers are over in here, but this could also be for tent camping too, I would say, because I would say that's a tent camper right there. So I don't know, I see a hose, so it might be RV camping, but that's pretty there. That's real nice. Be a nice little walk, take a walk, go through there. Okay, it looks like Quail runs only a one loop. So, I mean, they do have bathrooms that you can walk to, but they 
I just talked to another camper and he said they're closed. So, yeah, I just one loop. So let's go check out the last campground and see if I can find the bathrooms that are open. We got little man out and give him a little bit of a break. We're in Desert Cove right now, so I figured I'd give him a little bit of a break because this is his last campground we're going to check out. So, um, I'm not sure if these shelters across here are part of the sites, but like this site right here, it's got a, a shelter just like on the main drag of the boondocking. And there's another one right here, but the sites basically look the same. I mean, this is a real small campground right here, but I'll show you the site right here. I'm at site number five. And once again, I'm at Desert Cove. And, uh, let's check it out. See, if you look up there, I don't know if that's a shelter or campground or just a meeting place, what it is, but the campground's about the same. You got your fire pit right there. You got your picnic table. You got your cover. You got your electric. You got your water right there. Got some pretty nice trees in this place, but there's old little man walking around sniffing, so let him get some exercise in, but it's pretty nice. I mean, real small campground. I bet there can't be 25 sites in here, but where are you going, little man? Hey, baby. Little man, where are you going? He ain't paying no mind to me, never does. Okay, but anyway, I beat the rain. I did have a few little drizzles, but that's my uh, video on Elephant Butte State Park, New Mexico. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, I got to keep an eye on little man. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I'll see you in the next, next video. And I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving because I know I'm going to have one. I'm going to have a fire tonight and drink a few beers and kick back, relax, and have a Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. So you all have a great Thanksgiving. And probably won't put this video out till Friday, so it'll be a day late. But enjoy and please subscribe. Thank you. Okay, I'm headed back to camp, but I'm going to check out a few things headed back to camp on my way out. They do have a uh, group shelter fees required, so I guess you rent it. I, I believe they have a day use area too. Um, got a big, big cooker right there, but yeah. So if you're, you're planning a family reunion or anything like that, I mean, this would be a good place to come. You got a big uh, cooker right there, and you got your fire pit over there. And, I got a little man here and you got shelter, but let's walk over here and take a look at the marina. I guess at one time when this lake is full of water, it's packed and really nice to come to, but there's a marina right there. Nice enclosure. Be grateful. But I mean, look at the size of that cooker right there, and then you have picnic tables out here, so be a good place to have a family reunion, something like that, to get together. Okay, so that's my video on Elephant Butte State Park, New Mexico. I'm headed back to camp, and once again, I'm going to end this video, like I said a couple of seconds ago. But give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. See you in the next one. Happy Thanksgiving to all. Little man, did you find anything? Hey, baby. Come on. Come over here. Come on, little man. That's my baby boy right there, always looking. Always sniffing. Little man. Hey, don't go in there. Let's go bye bye. Come on, baby. Little man, come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on, let's go.